Hi, welcome to Van Life China. We are Alvin and Lucy. While waiting till China opened the border, we are exploring Indonesia with this Nissan Serena C26. Traveling in a van and sleeping in it while traveling for a long time, carrying all the necessary items to keep the trip enjoyable means we need to keep everything neat and tidy. What do we bring and how we arrange them? First, reflective window blinds. It's one of the must-have items for van life. It really helps to keep the heat out. We didn't find a size that perfectly fits our windows, so we bought the roll one and cut it ourselves. You don't have to cut it precisely, just slip it under the sun visor and you are good to go. Another must-have items on the road is CCTV. Our CCTV automatically records if somebody gets near the car at night, and it is always best to have proof just in case something happens on the road. Next is the phone holder. This small thing helps to hold the phone without blocking our view. Remember to stay hydrated on the road. We bring cold water and hot coffee here. On this console box, I put my bag on top, and inside we put wet tissue, and face mask ah and i have my body lotion too for facial tissue we can easily access from the top drawer at the back everything is easily accessible we just bought these clay jugs they say just put boiled water in it and drink when it is cold we bought two models one made with red soil and the other one with dark soil one of them is twice more expensive can you guess which one is more expensive Another important item is this small trash bin. This keeps the car clean. On this door, there is Alvin's thermos. Usually, he brings Chinese tea or herbal tea. And there is pepper spray as well. For meat, poultry, and seafood, we use this styrofoam box and put some ice there. We already cooked the chicken this morning. This box fit a whole chicken and some prawns. For fruit and veggie, we use this insulated bag. This is double layer, so it works well. For cooking, we use this portable butane stove. In this area, we also store telescopic poles for fly sheet and shoe bag for storing our extra sandals. In order to keep the floor area empty so that we can sleep at night, we keep all our storage vertically on these drawers. That way, it's also easier to find things. We categorize each drawer for specific items, so we don't get lost when finding things. This drawer, for example, is for our hygiene products, like microfiber towels. This gray one is for mat. We usually put the towel down there to dry our feet after spraying with water. For drying our hands, we use different towel. These small green towels are for kitchen. We have extra, so we just change to a new one when one gets wet or dirty. Lighter is a must bring. Scissors. Sponge to wash the dishes. In some areas, there are a lot of flies, so we also prepare fly catcher. It's like glue on a paper and it traps the flies. The second drawer is for electrics. This long cable is another must bring in the camper van, especially if you don't have battery or solar panel. This is needed to connect to campsite power supply. Then lights, charging cables, charger heads, meter just in case, extra power bank in addition to the one in my bag. The third drawer is the most accessible from the front seats. We can easily take everything here while driving. So here, we put facial tissue, we also have extra wet tissue, toilet tissue. We need to bring toilet tissue because in public toilets here, there is no toilet tissue. And hand fan, tropical country. Ah, and we also bring this singing bowl. Are you familiar with it? This really helps me to relax and sleepy at night. The next drawer is also easily accessible from the front. This is Alvin's favorite snack, peanuts. Very easy to make. Just deep fry the peanuts together with garlic and then sprinkle with salt. And screwdriver set, we only use this for the whole build. Then vacuum cleaner. Our van is originally like this, all carpet. So we cannot sweep easily like vinyl flooring. So, to keep the floor clean, we use this portable vacuum cleaner. It's wireless. We just charge it and use it. A must bring in the camper van if you got carpets. 
these are my books. I'm a bookworm. Then there are shopping bags. Going to the traditional market or supermarket, we bring our own shopping bags. This drawer is accessible from the side door. Sometimes when we camp, suddenly rain comes and we need to fix the fly sheet. So we bring raincoats and rain shoes to keep our clothes dry and our feet dry while doing the needed adjustment outside. This is shower bag. In case the source of water is quite far and we want to use the water without walking so far, we can use this. This drawer is for our outdoor needs. It's a bit random though. There is a foldable sink. We use it to wash our vegetables. And after washing it, we just put the vegetables there. Also, after washing the dishes, we can put the dishes there. This bucket is for taking water, to wash dishes, and to take shower. Sometimes, the bucket provided in the camping ground doesn't look really clean. That's why we always bring this. The dipper is also foldable, to save space. This is our telescopic chair, and the height is adjustable according to our need. The one I'm using is the same. I usually use this chair while washing the dishes, much better than squatting. We can also set it to normal chair heights and use it with our folding table while eating or working. We also bring incense insect repellent, super useful in tropical countries. These clothespins are big, yes, because we hang our towels on our fly sheet poles, so it has to be big. This is our mosquito net. We put two layers at the back door and stick it to the van with a magnetic strip. It stays there nicely and we can go in and out of the van easily. This is the setting for our sleeping time. We use sleeping bag on top of our inflatable bed and below that we still have a mat. The middle drawer is for our emergency food. We bring our fresh vegetables and meats there and here we got our dry supplies like miso soup, instant noodle, we got a soup one, we got a fried one, Indomie, Indonesian leading brand for instant noodle, rice noodle, instant rice really practical if we don't have electricity to cook our rice in a rice cooker we can still eat rice peanut butter we can easily buy bread in the convenience store and make peanut butter sandwich canned meat and our chinese tea set alvin brought this all the way from china we like to drink tea together especially when camping with friends the set is for eight people you can come and join us this drawer is for alvin's clothing this holds his clean clothes for a week Jackets, pants, t-shirts, extra towel, undies, windbreaker, complete. Below Alvin's clothes is my clothes. It's bigger because different people have different needs, right? Here we have makeup bag, more complete than Alvin's clothes. I got scarf, etc. The middle one is for dry food and seasonings. Gas cans, salad dressing, Chinese food seasonings, coffee, tea, the utensils, rice, salt, mushroom powder, soy sauce, health supplements. We got apple stem cell, kiseki, biomild. Do you consume health supplements too? We better stay healthy during the road trip, right? We also bring meal replacement for emergency if we are hungry in the middle of the night. Just need to shake it with water. One minute, done. And traditional herbs for indigestion. This container is all about snacks, all the jelly, bean curd, nice to enjoy this when camping with friends. This is for herbal tea. There is dry longan, red dates, goji berry. We also have dry mushroom for soup. For the water, we make a flexible reflective cover for the gallon, so we can use it for different size of gallons, different brands of water. We made this cover because it is written on the gallon to keep it away from direct sunlight. We got trash bin as well, and the last drawer is our kitchen. We got two cutting boards, one for meat and the other one is for veggie and fruits. We choose the thin one for space saving. Tray is also very useful when cutting things to keep the liquids there. This is the remaining chicken soup from today morning. We keep it here for our lunch later. Here we have pot to boil water, water dispenser for the gallon, our multi-purpose pan, we use it for cooking soup, stir frying, deep frying, and the size is nice for two persons. We got plates, cooking utensils, chopstick, spoon and fork, also knife. All kitchen tools complete in this drawer. Disposable gloves are also things you need for van life. Especially if you cook chicken, meat, 
seafood, and you have limited amount of water. Another tip, bring a digital scale. I don't know whether the sellers cheat the scale or not in your area, but here, we definitely need it. Last time, we went to Charita Beach. I bought 2 kg of prawns, and when I checked, it was just 900 grams. So since then, I brought this scale. This is my favorite shopping bag, the one I use all the time. On the ceilings, we put fairy lights. No need electric installation whatsoever, we just use it when needed and it's battery powered. The cargo net above really helps to keep the floor area neat and tidy, because we can keep our pillows, window blinds all up there. By the way, we made these window blinds by ourselves, we got mosquito net there. Fan is extremely important. We recommend having two fans so you have proper air circulation. We are planning to buy one more, a more powerful one. What are these two bags? They are our shower bags. We got one each. So at the camping site, we just carry this bag, fill it with our towel and clean clothes. Inside, we already put our shower gel and shampoo. Here we have our solar camp lights. It's automatically charging under sunlight. All our camping gears are here in the basement. The tent, inflatable bed, aluminum mats, tent stakes, sleeping bag, hammock, footprint, inflatable pillows, all complete here. Those are our van life essential items. Only the necessities can go with us because we have a small van and we want to keep it stealth. We will upgrade some of the items to prepare this camper van for a road trip from Jakarta to Yogyakarta, continue to Bali, Lombok, Labuan Bajo, overland to Ruteng, Bajawa, Ende, Maumere, and Kupang. Consider subscribing and activating the bell to follow us along this journey. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!